Good afternoon, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Friday, May 21st, the seventh and final Friday of Easter, and it is the feast day of St. Cristobal Magellanus, uh, which he was a priest and martyr of the faith. He was killed in 1927, which is not that long ago. That's like around the time when my grandparents were born. Um, and he was killed without trial on his way to say Mass um, during the Cristero War. Um, so him, along with uh, many others, were martyred. And so it's St. Cristobal Magellanus and his companions. <clears throat> he is the patron saint of, of uh, cancer. So today's Gospel is from John chapter 21, verses 15 through 19. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. Okay, so we've got um, Jesus and Peter here, and uh, you know, there's there's no other apostle that that Jesus spends this amount of time um, ensuring that he loves him, and that is why the uh, the Catholic Church is built from the Apostolic See of Peter um, in Rome. And you can see that um, you know, in the footnotes of this section, it says that uh, these verses, they constitute Peter's rehab and his uh, forgiveness and, and just also emphasizes his role in the church. And you notice that Jesus really likes to, to work in threes. Um, so as we know, that Peter denied Jesus three times during the during his passion um, and then he asks Peter three times do you love me um, and notice that uh, he doesn't ask him um, are you sorry for denying me uh, did you learn from your mistake uh, can I trust you um, he doesn't ask him any of that he, he just wants to know do you love him do you love me and of, of Jesus asking Peter. And you can sense like Peter was getting a little frustrated. Um, as it says on the before the third time that Peter was distressed that he had to keep asking him. Um, so in this you know this could be you know a, a, fameful, a, a shameful sense of, of distress uh, maybe from Peter denying because Peter knows that he denied Jesus. Um, and so, by Jesus continuously asking him the same question, that uh, you might be thinking that Peter is is feeling that Jesus doesn't trust him, and so Peter is thinking like, "What can I do? Like, what? Like there, there's nothing I can do." And like, he's that's why he's frustrated, and that's why he's like, he even tells Jesus, "You know everything, so you already know." Like, he kind of throws it back at Jesus, saying, "You already know that I love you, because you know everything." And so, but, you know, notice that 
Jesus still wanted to hear it from Peter's mouth himself. Because, you know, again, words matter. And uh, you know, even though we might know it on, in, on the inside, it's, it's good to express it on the outside. Because we're that's just a, the human level of understanding that we kind of need to for like confirmation and validation of different things in our lives. So, um, so yeah, and then you know once once everything's kind of confirmed and it, it's it's taken care of, Jesus simply says, "Follow me," which is what we as Christians are, are called to do. So, but I think what's important to take take from this uh, today is, you know, is Try to look at this on a, on a deeper level uh, of ourselves, and you know, think and ask ourselves how well do we kind of look look ahead and look forward with love and forgiveness, as opposed to looking in the past with shame or regret and just kind of you know anxiousness of realizing that yes, we made a mistake, and we kind of dwell on that too long and hold it against us too long. Because we do that with other people, um, we I, I think we we try not to, but it's a natural response that we do. But we but we not only do it with other people, but we need to, we also do it to ourselves. So that's the challenge is is trying to make sure that we do our best to to move forward with love and forgiveness, and um, and, and fully trusting and following Jesus Christ to whatever it is that He might be calling us to do. Um, or calling us to forgive and just kind of move forward you know, with with life and uh, know that he, he's got our back no matter what. So, otherwise, have a great day. God bless and keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.